So what's going on, YouTube fam? How y'all doing today? Hey, y'all, bitch, y'all. <laughs> oh, shit, it's your boy Psychotic Heart coming at y'all live with another video right now. As you guys see, I just went ahead and snapped a couple of photos right quick because uh, I'm passing down this little road right here, and I saw this spot right here in front of these trees, and I was like, damn, that's an awesome-ass photo opportunity. So... I was like, hey, man, let's come capture this damn moment, shit. <laughs> but I got what I came for. Uh, if you guys want to see the pictures, make sure you follow me on all my social medias. On my uh, Facebook, Twitter, and my Instagram. I have links to all three in the uh, descriptions down below. Be smart if I turn the key on in order to turn my bike on first, right? <laughs> Yeehaw, let's get out of here. Ah. <laughs> If you guys clicked on this video, obviously you already know what my topic for right now is. This is my how to be a motor vlogger part three, barber. Cheers. And uh, in today's video, what I'm going to be going over with you guys is uh, my techniques for how to capture footage. Now that you've uh, now you've gotten your camera, your helmet, your bike, you've been riding for a while, you're used to talking to yourself. And doing all your hand gestures and whatever while riding without getting too distracted or at least you feel confident enough to do all those things <clears throat> excuse me so again i'm going go over with you guys my te the techniques i use for uh, when i'm out riding and i'm capturing video footage i'm gonna go over you guys my recommendations for the type of gear you should wear as well so let's get right into it now you you got your camera you got your setup configure oh and you you think you're ready to start uh capturing footage and become a uh, full-fledged motor vlogger now the first recommendation I have for you guys do not I repeat do not since you're just now starting off do not put yourself on a schedule that's the worst thing for you to do do not put yourself on a schedule when you're just now starting out the reason I say that is because if you put yourself on a schedule uh, let's say you upload your first video, you get a lot of views off of it, you get a lot of subscribers and stuff, and then that first video you uploaded, you already gave yourself a schedule, and that's literally just your very first video. Now, the subscribers that you that you gain from that video, they're going to be like, okay, so he said this is his schedule. Now, they're going to go back and they're going to check, and if they see that you drop the ball once or whatever, how you doing, girl? <laughs> like I said, they see that you drop the ball one time after just not starting off, they be like, bro, you said you upload videos in this amount of days or in this particular day, this particular time or whatever, what's, what's going on, right? So already you're just not starting off and you're already, you're already fucking up. This is why I'm saying when you first start off, don't put yourself on a schedule. Now, after you've been motor vlogging for a while, let's say you've been doing it for about a uh, a month or two so between four to eight weeks let's say you've been motor vlogging for four to eight weeks now at this point you should be comfortable enough with yourself to be like okay i have a lot of, i have footage i know how often i go riding i know how often i record a new vlog um i know how long it takes me to edit a video so i can guarantee to have new vlogs up in this amount of days at this particular time or whatever right here i'm gonna stop right here because this is another photo op <laughs> All right, fam, I'm back, and we're getting back on the damn road now. All right, here we go. All right. Now then. Oh. All right, last thing I was telling you guys about was uh, don't put yourself on a set schedule for your vlogs. Okay. Now, man, excuse me. Again, don't do that until you've at least given yourself about the, that two months' time to put yourself on a schedule, okay? This brings us to my second point um, of how to be a motor vlogger. When you're vlogging, okay, here's a few things you need to do when you're out riding and you're vlogging. First of all, you need to record multiple vlogs whenever you're out riding. Okay, that's the main thing that you need to do. And here's how you do those things, all right? First of all, if you're out vlogging, obviously you've gotten a topic in your head or an idea that you want to talk about, some feelings and stuff that you want to convey to your fans and whatnot, right? So what you do, is 
let's say you have a, a ram mount like i do holding my phone here or shit, even if you got a, a regular wristwatch on what you should do is check the time whenever you're vlogging here's why let's say well no let's see what time is it right now right now if i get my phone up it is all right it is 12:07 p.m for me right now right and let's say i want my vlog to be 10 minutes long right so from, that'll get me from 12.07 to 12.17, I, I need to be recording a vlog. But here's my recommendation to you guys. Whenever you're recording a vlog, give yourself an extra three to five minutes, okay? Because you gotta consider the fact that there are gonna be things that you're gonna wanna edit out of your video because there's gonna be things that you yourself are gonna find boring when it's time to uh, put the fancy touches on, this on these videos and be ready to upload them. So give yourself an extra three to five minutes of content. So instead of me stopping at 12, uh, 17, I would stop the vlog at, I would start recording at either 12, 20 or 12, 22. Now, here's the reason why you would do this. Because again, we're talking about recording multiple videos, multiple vlogs at one time. So what I would do, let's say I was gonna take it out to 12, 20, right? Once 12, 20 comes around, no matter what I'm talking about in my vlog, I'd be like, all right, you guys, that's all the time I have for today. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Go ahead and leave me a like, comment, subscribe, whatever. Say your, say your full ending to that video. And then what you want to do, if you're using two cameras like me, I will turn off my GoPro and I will turn off my Ion. I will turn them both off so that way I have that single file for that one vlog right there. So that whenever I go back to um, review my vlogs and it's time me to start editing and everything, I have one vlog, one one video file for one vlog. And then I will turn both cameras back on right afterwards. I will do my little syncing, like whenever, since I'm using two cameras in order for me to sync them up, whenever I start my cameras, I, I'm either park at a stoplight or stop sign, whatever. I get out to the GoPro, open up my visor, make sure the GoPro can pick up on my audio, and I will count. I'll go like one, two, three, four, bam. That way, it'll be a lot easier to sync up the audio between the two cameras once it's time, once it's time for editing. So I turn both cameras back on, I'll save my opening, and I'll immediately pick up exactly where I left off in the one that I finished recording earlier. See? This way, I'm getting my, uh, I'm getting my point across, I'm expressing myself while the ideas are still fresh in my head, but my vlog isn't too long. Because you gotta consider the fact that most people have short attention spans. Most people will not watch a motor vlog that's 15 plus minutes long. So I believe that the sweet spot for motor vlogs is between it's eight to 12 minutes. I believe that's the sweet spot. That's why if you see most of my videos, they're all eight minutes and longer. Some of them are 10 minutes, some of them are tw like 12 minutes, that's a second but I try my best to keep myself at a minimum, well, a maximum of 12 minutes because I don't want people to get bored watching my vlogs and running on about one particular topic. All right, now the last topic that I have for you guys today, like I said, is gonna be proper riding gear. Now, I know that I'm squinting right now. I know I'm not wearing a jacket or any type of protective vest for my arms or whatnot but that's the only thing. Other than that, I have on um, the rest of the proper gear you're supposed to have when you're out riding. First off, I'm gonna give you the basics of the, uh, the must-haves, okay? The things you must absolutely have when you're out vlogging. Your full face helmet, like I told you guys in the first part. You have to have a full face helmet. Make sure your helmet is on, properly zipped up, and uh, make sure that it fully covers your chin next thing gloves okay you definitely want to get motorcycle gloves man don't go out and get a regular pair of uh look the kind of gloves you will wear when you're going to the gym to work out or something because if you go down chances are first thing that's going to touch the ground are your hands or your head those are one of the first two things to touch the ground if you go down while you're out vlogging or if you're out just fucking riding man so you definitely want to always make sure you have on your, your full face helmet and your gloves. The next two absolute must-haves when you're out riding or vlogging or whatever are jeans. You want to always wear full jeans, man. You know, 
the reason I say always wear full jeans or at least long pants to cover your legs, the main reason is because depending on what type of bike you have, chances are, if, I mean, it's more likely if you're on a uh, cruiser, chances are you might end up touching your leg on your damn pipes at some point. And if you do that, by you having on a pair of long pants, you won't burn your leg right away. I mean, you trust you still you gonna feel it. You touch that damn pipe, you you gonna feel it on your damn leg. You are gonna snatch back. But on the off chance that heavens forbid you go down and that bike fall, ends up on top of you, having them jeans on, it's not gonna be a whole lot. But they will give you a slight enough buffer where you can actually have time and a chance to get the bike up off your legs. If you're as long as you're conscious, you can get the bike off your legs before you get burned too bad that way. And the last part of the absolute must have proper riding shoes, man. I see a lot of people out here wearing regular sneakers and shit like Jordans, Adidas, um, Chucks, or uh, Converse, those sh regular running shoes and stuff, man. I mean, yeah, you got some protection for yourself, but here's what I'm gonna tell you you should either have yourself a pair of boots or proper motorcycle shoes. Now, you're gonna go the route of boots. You're good, but I would definitely recommend getting the steel toe boots so that way you have pro you have some uh, protection for your toes in, in case something happens, man. But otherwise, in, in regards to the proper motorcycle shoes, let's see, I, the reason I say get proper motorcycle shoes because no, look at this. Notice that? Notice that little uh, big piece of true knot from my shoe right there? On the shoes that I have, uh, I put a link to them down in the description below because I don't remember the name of them. Uh, all I know is they're called Vega, V-E-G-A, something like that. And I got them off Amazon for like 80 bucks, dude. These shoes are highly fucking comfortable. They got two Velcro straps on them, and they also got shoe strains on them. I tighten my uh, shoes, and then I can secure the strains using the uh, Velcro straps and shit. But I have exceeded my time limit by a couple of minutes here because I had so much extra things to tell you guys than I had originally planned. But whatever, let's see how long this video turns out in the end. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave me a like down below. And of course, share this video with your friends, family, or anyone you know of who rides a motorcycle. And you're if you're trying to get them into motor vlogging, or they even themselves already said they want to be a motor vlogger, share this video with them. So this way they, they can get a couple of tips and insights into things they can expect, as well as things they should do and have before they begin motor vlogging. So subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber but uh other than that that's it for today you guys in the meantime it's me and boy psychotic heart and as for the usual peace out motherfuckers yeah yeah he, he knows what's up he got him a water pack over there i see you biker dude <laughs> oh shit deuces Listen.